Good morning to all traders and welcome to another Markets and Works video. Today is the 25th of April and we're going to have an interesting week because uh, the first month of the second quarter of 2021 is closing this week. And we've seen some very good moves, especially looking at the US index against other currency pairs. The weakness of the dollar is causing some nice continuations. I would say many on the euro dollar as we have of course identified in our last video now in today's um, video we're going to have a quick look on the index the euro dollar pound dollar uh, US oil as well as gold starting of course with the index just to get an idea of what is, is really happening across the board um, we've called uh, correction up to the 9150 actually last uh, week Although we did miss it for a few pips, uh, we turned uh, lower and of course with that candle uh, indicating that pretty much we are likely to break below the previous low. The continuation downside um, prevailed over here. We've got one, two, looks like a three, four and five to me at around 90 or so or perhaps even 90, 29, then a correction and then another move down to around 90. Now. If we use the Fibonacci extension for the minute wave one and two over here, we get to around the 90 uh, for minor wave one. That of course could be lower or it could be also high. We do not know yet, but from the microstructure internally over here, we can see that with wave one have been done around 1995, then it's very possible that this will still wait in waves three, four and five to go down to around 90 to complete wave one because that is also going to be the 200 Fibonacci extension of waves one and two in the smaller degree which is very usual uh, case to be fair because normally the 161 is where wave three is which is again very close to 138 Fibonacci extension of the longer term move yeah 90.29 uh, and 9039 between that range and then um, once we get to around 90, perhaps we're going to get a very nice uh, pullback on the upside and then break to fresh lows finally. We've been calling on that move for a while now. And the truth is that uh, we did uh, mention last week after getting these two signals that, you know, we're looking quite bearish, but uh, we were expecting indeed that pullback to come through. And it looks like it was just a false break um, outside this descending channel. Now, the other thing we can do, of course, is just uh, pull that a bit further down. And, you know, we can also use uh, the channel as some sort of trail to uh, identify potential uh, future um, points on the downside, also on the upside as well. On the Euro dollar now, guys. Uh, well, I've been quite bullish, as I said uh, last week, even the week before. And I'm looking at uh, 122, 123, 125, who knows where we'll go. Obviously, as we move up, we can uh, always, with the reception of new data, we can identify uh, some new targets a bit more accurately. Now, the last move on the downside, we called an ABC, and we said that uh, we're expecting price to us moving higher. Now, having done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over here, Right, and then receiving a pullback as well and a rejection of the median regression. I'm looking at this as a one and two, and I think we're gonna get three, four, and five up to around 161 Fibonacci extension, which is also a cluster of the two, uh, same uh, 161 extension of the minute degree and also the sub minuet degree um, Fibonacci extension expansions around 120, 125, 121.83. This is where I'm looking for wave three to end. From there, I will be receiving, well, we could be receiving a correction down to uh, the top of the ascending channel and then a continuation up for a minor wave one, which could end around 122. Should, of course, uh, wave five be only, uh, well, 38.2. Uh, longer than wave three, which might be the case, may not be the case. Now, 
Despite the fact that we remain bullish above that uh, chart, it could still be a case, guys, that we've got one, two, three, four, and five. But I really doubt because when we see such pattern usually take formation, they are um, more likely, excuse me, they are more likely like being ending diagonals rather than anything else. And over here, we do not have an ending diagonal, we have no overlap between any of the waves. And as long as we remain above 120.78, and of course in the shorter term 120.99, which is the 121, uh, it's a very nice handle as well. Well, we remain bullish. I remain bullish. Now the signal we called here on the Euro USD last week seems to have been now uh, taking place uh, into a, a bullish sort of continuation on the upside, which means. Without new signals coming in now, and we don't see any of that, this is also a continuation on the upside. Now on pound, the dollar, we looked, uh, well, actually I think we looked at this one too, and we talked about a continuation. However, um, we received the first move, well, the five wave move over here means most likely we're going to get another wave up, right? Because this can only be A of any move, cannot be like a correction because it's a five wave move. Anyway, <clears throat> we didn't know when we were here last week. So, receive that down one, two, three, four, five. That would make a very nice 139.37 at 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, which is obviously the uh, <clears throat> from the that first on the downside leg in the minute degree minuet excuse me okay so 139.37 and I do think that this upside move is going to be a pullback rather than anything else because um, well we still look a bit bearish to be fair now we did get that signal over here as well which is a hidden uh, uh, bearish divergence and at the moment we do get another one at least in the momentum, but I think that might break because we are currently seeing uh, the slow EMA also crossing the zero line. Uh, momentum remains positive, but uh, that turn I don't see as a reversal. It's just probably going to be some sort of consolidation over here. Then we'll move lower. And I will be looking at 137.59, 136.35 at least for wave three. Okay because uh oh excuse me on 35 for worth it yes because we've got the one and two and we're expecting three to end around that well, I, well truth is that wave three can end anywhere between 37 50 and 36 35 but um, <clears throat> given that this is uh the minus uh this is the uh 61.8 Bonacci expansion of this leg then probably we're going to break the 137 to take wave 3. And from there, of course, as you can see uh, on the chart, um, we are probably going to be expecting then a pullback and then a continuation to the downside, perhaps a double top over here. That would make a very nice signal, wouldn't they? Uh, so uh, that's on the pound dollar as well. Now we'll be really careful as well as to whether you know, we're going to get a continuation on the upside because it could be a case that this is W uh, of that. Oh, that's going to be some sort of like X or even could be X, right? And then uh, we could get the Y over here. <clears throat> uh, but for that, of course, we will have to wait and see how markets develop. Uh, for now, we just have an alternative scenario in mind. Uh, as such, not anything, not anything else, no any any signs. Uh, oil situation is very similar to a pound. It looks like uh, moving uh, hand to hand. One, two, three, four, five. Correction on the upside. We did the Fibonacci retracement, sixty to fifty, and it looks like now we're moving lower. Well, I'll be honest. I was expecting another leg up here to the sixty to ninety, and we still might get it, as long as we remain above that level, which is very close to breaking as we speak. Now, to me, this looks corrective. And it should be looking corrective to you all as well who watch. The thing over here is that we received quite a few signals. Last week we talked about those uh, hidden bearish divergences anyway, yeah, and that's why I moved uh, lower. But quite a few signals on the downside here and here as well. So is this 
the end of the correction. It could be the case the 50 Fibonacci is not bad, guys. Actually, it's pretty cool uh, to get the 50 Fibonacci. Uh, uh, it's, it's usually where I would enter anyway. I'm not going to wait for the 62 uh, to miss the opportunity. So over here, what we're looking is a continuation for five waves, yeah, done on around 5683, which is the 61 uh, Fibonacci extension of waves one and two over here. If we take into account that 62 was in the, is indeed the correction, but if we move down here, which makes more sense now, 5635 would be where I would be expecting. Um, excuse me, I would be expecting wave three to end, then a four and a five, and that would pretty much be the end of this correction because we are in the minor degree correction. Uh, B is here and we're expecting C down here in the minor degree and from there we are going to look for an impulsive move to the upside. Uh, I think it's going to take us in the medium to long term, well, near 100 or so. But obviously it's too early to talk about the 100 right now because we still move lower. And gold, there's two scenarios I'm looking here guys, ABC. I'm gonna start moving higher one two one two three four five three four and five four which is what i'll be probably looking to receive over here another leg on the downside and then move up why well over here we've got one two three four and five that's a clear a a b c clear a b c here one two three four and five because i don't see a clear four apart from this and to me, I know we do remain impulsive still because we are above <coughs> the 70.79. But the move over here is not convincing to me. I would expect to see something bigger, bigger candles as well, and a continuation of the upside to at least having the 17.85 revisited. And then we'll be looking for a correction on the upside. But, you know, remaining around that price level makes me think that we could get another leg down and from there move all the way up. Now, we don't really get much, many signals um, on the MACD and on the RSI for the current move. Apart from this, but it's very tiny and it's like on the momentum. Um, it might be the, the, the reason we are seeing this move on the upside to the 50 Fibonacci now of... Uh, this leg you know which is like one two three and um, which makes very good uh, sense that you know another leg on the downside can be indeed expected i'm going to guess a false break i'm going to go down to that previous four it's, it's very possible because a double bottom down here actually would make a much better opportunity to jump into okay so this is for the gold as well guys and this is going to be of course for this session i hope you did enjoy the video if you did click the like button I also turn notifications just to make sure we don't miss any opportunity we are here publishing our edit wave analysis on a daily basis um, and uh, we're here to support you if you want to leave a comment do uh, go ahead and i will get back to you as soon as i can enjoy the trading session and trade safe